feel that we have enough pollution in New Jersey? Yes. Yeah. Does everyone here feel, or how do you feel about, do we have enough pipelines in New Jersey? Yes. Yeah. Do we have enough greenhouse gases? I mean, it's, it's plenty coming out of the state house, but yes. <laughs> but are we here today because we want clean air, clean water? We want to fight with climate, fight climate change? Is that why we're here? Yeah. Yeah. Are we here to save the bay, not to pipe the bay? Yeah. Are we here today because we want a clean future for our children and grandchildren? We want a world where we don't have to worry about pipelines in our backyard exploding or compressor stations giving off toxic chemicals or the fact that we keep going down this path of greenhouse gases that we'll be standing in water. We're here today because we don't want a blowtorch in that bay or in anybody's backyard. We're here today because we have to tell the governor, if you care about public safety, if you care about the environment, if you care about 100% renewable or, or clean energy, then you have to say no. The Department of Expedited Pipelines, the DEP has granted out almost every 401 permit on every pipeline. They've granted three of them in this administration. We have to say, this is the pipeline in the sand. Now you're going to be called deny every permit. Because that's your job. Look, we have the facts on our side. We have the science on our side. We have the laws. We have the rules. And we have the public on our side. So we need Governor Murphy to tell DEP, do your job and deny that permit. And all those permits. We need the DEP to be working instead make sure that we can build a green economy with offshore wind and solar panels, that we need DEP to be cleaning up toxic sites, not sticking pipelines through. We need the DEP to clean up this bay, continue the cleanup and the work that's been done by getting rid of CSOs and all kinds of water pollution that are impacting w wildlife and water quality. Governor Cuomo did the right thing. And, that, and you can see where this pipeline is going to go, right over there into Long Island. The people standing there are standing with, st over there are standing with us. They don't want this pipeline either. What happens is Williams Company makes money, Long Island gets the gas, and we get the pipe, and we're not going to take that deal. No way. No how. We're here today because there's not only nothing in it for New Jersey except for explosions, pollution, and degrading water quality. We're here today because we want to go fishing and swimming in that bay. We don't need a pipeline in there. We're here today because on the radio a few weeks ago, Junior asked a question to the governor, and the governor said that he doesn't call balls and strikes. That's up to the DMP. The governor is wrong. The governor not only can call balls and strike, he's the umpire, he's the team manager, he's, he's, and what he should say is to Transco Williams, you've struck out, you're out of the game, and you and FERC can get the FERC out of New Jersey. That's what we want. We want to make sure that this pipeline gets turned down next week, and we're going to hold the governor accountable, because we know that you can't get to 100% renewable energy or clean energy with these pipelines. So we're here today to say to the governor, do your job, make DEP do their job, let's deny this pipeline and all the other pipelines. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Jeff. Thank you, thank you, thank you.